Yo, what is going on today, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Usually I do patch notes. I do longer ones the day that they drop. So if you are very curious about every single thing in the patch notes, in my opinion on it, go watch that video. But I also like to do these shorter ones and things that I kind of put my opinions on to what it'll affect, stuff like that, the day that the patch drops. So you guys kind of get like an idea of stuff that you should pay attention to, stuff you should try, all that good stuff. So basically, that's what today's video is going to be. It's just going to be a much quicker patch, just talking about everything that I think is important and not like a ton of balance things. Important balance things I'll talk about, but I'm not going to go over god changes, item changes, stuff like that. Starting off with the ranked reset, the first four things are going to be about ranked because there's a pretty big overhaul to ranked. Ranked was weird. I think we can all agree on that. Ranked was very weird. You'd have some like very good games and then you'd have a really bad game and then you'd have nine bad games in a row and then you'd have 11 bad games in a row and then you'd get one good game and it seemed like something was off with the matchmaking. Apparently matchmaking was just turned off completely, but there will be a ranked reset. All players are Above 4,000 will be placed to 4,000 SR, which is Obsidian 2. They are implementing a roll queue system, which is very, very cool. I want to show you guys this because I think it's very interesting and I want to make sure that you guys understand it completely. You will now rank all rolls from 1 to 5. So if you're a jungler, you can do jungle and then maybe you like mid, solo, ADC support. You can now rank those 1 to 5. You maybe will still get your 5th roll every once in a while, but it should be pretty rare. And if you do happen to be given your 5th, 4th, or 3rd roll slash queuing fill, you'll get more priority to get your main roll in your next game. So no longer do you have to try to sprint to the roll you want, and then if you're slightly too slow, the guy who's bottom MMR, who just fed as Anubis, doesn't have to take your roll. Next up is solo queue and duo queue have been combined. Trio queue has been completely removed, and now 5-man queues can only play versus 5-man queues. So now you and that buddy can finally start slamming the queues back together. The in oceans queues will be back in the morning. We'll start slamming those. Trio queues have been removed. They were very underused. So it's not like they were used a lot and Hyros just decided that they couldn't have them. They were by far and away the least used. So it makes sense to remove those. Duo queues will now no longer play against five man queues. They're now in that solo queue. So it's basically back to smite one. It's just now there's also a five man queue. If that's something that interests you. That's cool, mother. I want to cover a, a little bit of this stuff because this stuff is very important. We're just going to kind of glance over it really quickly. Pyromancer is getting added. Pyro is going to be the exact same as it was in Smite 1. Thousand true damage. It's going to be PvP. It's going to reduce the attack speed of towers. It is essentially the exact same thing just brought over to Smite 2. It's going to spawn on the Fire Giant mid camps at 10 minutes. Cool addition. I know a lot of people loved the bomb. I think the bomb is awesome. The next very important thing is towers and phoenixes are getting adjusted and Fire Giant and Gold Fear are getting adjusted. Or sorry, Fire Giant and Naga Queen are getting adjusted. Towers are going to be tankier. Phoenixes are going to be tankier. They're also going to have less value and they're also going to do more damage. At least phoenixes are. So pretty big changes to towers and a pretty big changes to also farming in general. Hires is like sweeping over the gold reduction. Hires is realizing that there's a lot, a lot of gold in the game leading to a lot of snowballs. So they are just completely removing a ton of gold from the map. I mean, just running it over quickly. Losing 15 here. This is two times. Losing 50 here. So you're losing, you're losing 80 gold on tier one towers. You're losing slightly less on tier two towers, only 40. Actually, I, I think there's only one gold bounty. We'll say you're losing 100 gold from all, from each lane. So 300 gold from each lane. You're also losing gold on minions, both ranged and melee. And they're also increasing less. So careful with how much farm you're going to be getting. You're going to feel like you're not getting as much, but Hires is trying to slow the game down. There was a lot of snowball, maybe a little too much. I'm a guy who loves snowball and there's probably a little bit too much in the game. So prepare. There's a lot less gold. It's going to be a lot harder to get to that late game. So very quickly, talking about Ama, essentially the same character. The only thing that's massively changing is her one. The gold buff provides a hell shield for six seconds on activation, and the red buff provides an attack speed buff for six seconds on activation, on top of also getting the movement speed or the power. Lastly, I got to show you guys our ultimate. <laughs> oh, baby. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Real Ama. Pretty big change to Amo on that ultimate. The rest of it, not too big. But Amo is going to be able to dive your late game team fight. And if you're not spreading out against her as she dives, good luck. Next up, Nua got a little bit more than Amo did. Nua's passive is now not a 
auto four times or auto five times your next auto is a root it is now a 15 second cooldown but autoing reduces that cooldown her one when you exit it gives you movement speed outside of it which is awesome her two no longer shreds protections it is now she gets pen when she uses it her three causes her autos to be aoe and her ultimate well her ultimate makes her autos go very very far and this can combo with the explosion and can also combo with the root so nua might be some auto attack ish which i mean maybe she's not gonna be best auto attack but it'll at least be interesting to see how she plays as a, as an auto attacker next up they're adding toggle active items one is going to be like a mini hades ult around you when you toggle it on and then the other one is going to be uh, essentially smites new odibo which it'll do damage around where your autos are doing damage these either cost mana or they cost health the sunbeam bow which is the odibo costs mana the other one costs health per second and you can toggle these on with the active and toggle them off lastly four more things i want to touch on one massive sunder nerf to the early game the pve the damage that it kills with is now 200 at level one instead of 400 but there's a pretty big pvp buff to it there's more damage to it and it comes out quicker wars are now at 120 second cooldown instead of 60 seconds tank items have been massively massively buffed lastly crit has been nerfed and also stacking out of his items have been nerfed so trans nerf thebes nerf book of thoth nerf dev gloves nerfed all of them have been nerfed and you know thebes nerf yes love hearing thebes nerfs but yeah that is what you guys need to know before jumping into the patch today i do hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you guys enjoy this shortened version let me know down below what are you guys most excited for with this patch um nua some of the gold changes snowballing stuff like that let me know but i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you guys again next time peace